All right, what's going on? Anybody joining us for these purveyor roles? Today I have 5,000 script. In between my five characters, hopefully I can get something good. I'm going to roll rifles, hopefully, um, in terms of ranged weapons. I did consider rolling some melee weapons, so halfway through, depending on what I get, I might swap to a different character. Uh, all my characters have fixers learned, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, let's say three of them at the least, maybe even four, have the bare arm. So that's why I say I still am considering rolling those, but definitely wanted to take advantage of the 25% sale. And yeah, fingers crossed, let's see what we get. Alright, now I'm on to Jack. Jack has saved up a thousand script like my other characters. We're taking advantage of the sale today and hopefully getting something good. I'm going to roll as many of these ranged weapons as I can. For those that are newer to these set of videos, I have three different categories. Not good, decent, great. I try to be flexible with how I rank them because I do know there's various people that approach legendaries in different ways and one role or different attribute might be better to someone depending on how they're using it. So I try to generalize and look at certain items that end game player might not find useful, but somebody that just hit 45, 50, when those items start to unlock might find it much more useful. So we're keeping them. They might be decent. If they're getting auto script, those are the not good ones. If they're god rolls or close, those are the great finds. Hopefully we get a few of them. And of course, fingers crossed. Uh, quad laser pistol. I feel like I saw the same exact roll at a camp I visited earlier. I don't know. It's in between decent and not good. I feel like I just want to script it. I'm not a big fan of the bash on anything. Uh, 250 damage resist while reloading. Yeah, I'm probably just going to script this. Uh, no, thank you. Not good. <laughs> Stalker's short gamma gun. I know Stalker's is actually a more popular one, but I'm not like in some of these other combos we're getting. Did I just get the same roll basically twice? What was that? Okay, so first off, these rolls are looking pretty rough. They also look like they're favoring pistols now. I also don't mind faster fire rate and furious together. Uh, bloody reduced weight, 10% damage while aiming plasma pistol. Um, I might have somebody in the community that I can toss this out to. I'll consider this decent. I'm not a huge fan of plasma pistols, um, but I actually haven't really used it with the different, uh, I guess, nozzles. And I think one of them is, what, the flamethrower one? Uh, no, thank you. So I almost freaked out. Uh, this is a great roll. It's an Executioner's. Also, before I, I continue this, Bethesda, can we please fix fixers so they actually say what they are? Um, I don't know why it's it's taken so long, but in any case, Explosive Reduced Way is always nice. Executioner's. I mean, this is a, a pretty good weapon. I mean, I might actually start using this on Queens once we get her to, like, half health. Um, I, I'm... Basically good for the rest of this character. This character can get all the pistols that the game wants to throw at me, and I'm okay with that. Less vats on an SMG. Wish it wasn't Hunters. Nope. One more. Anti-armor, less vats, grenade launcher. Again, I might know somebody in the community that might want this. Well, oh, decent. All right, so that is the first set of rolls. That should have been around 13 rolls, and lucky enough to be walking away a fancy new fixer. Now onto my next character. Got another thousand script saved up. I managed to get a fixer last time. I don't know if I'll get it as lucky this time around, but we can keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's, a, that's a great way to start. Quad faster fiery agility, keep me in my vats, and allow me to just spam the trigger 
um, as almost as fast as I can and have some fun. Um, unfortunately, it these do have pretty bad kick, uh, so vats are going to be uh, highly needed. You want to maintain vats, but that's a great way to start this character. Okay. Assassin's limb damage. Anti-armor faster fire rate. Movement speed while aiming, I've always... God, if we have an earthquake. I've always kind of slept on. I, I would rather have other. Uh, but anti-armor and faster fire rate? I'll count this as a decent one. Uh, it's a not a fixer, but not enough rolls for me to be interested in. Nope. Nocturnal faster fire rate. I'm going to start collecting these. Before I start talking down on Nocturnal, I'm just going to start collecting these. Two shot costs, but. Hmm. I don't know, this could be good. Or science needed. We're a little over halfway, and I'm gonna pretend I did not just get an assault on head. Okay, I was I, I was partially kidding about nocturnal. Please don't give me more nocturnal. A lot of pistols tonight. I don't know why so many pistols tonight. I'd love seeing faster fire rate, especially on um, the revolvers. Um, pipe bolt action things. Anything that has a slower fire rate, the less vats is nice. I wish it wasn't exterminators. Um, an item like this, I would say not good, in between not good and, and decent. My question is if in the future we can reroll legendaries like we've been fed a little bit of information recently um, what does that exactly mean? Can you almost choose the roll? Is it almost a Diablo system where I have to break down resources to try to re-roll exterminators 30 times to get bloodied, which I'm not downplaying because I would totally do that, um, but food for thought. Again, I would rather have something like a faster fire on a revolver. Explosive would be nice, pack a, a larger punch. And last but not least, Suppressor's explosive, less vats action point. You know what? It's almost between decent and great. I've been using more shotguns. Um, I do have a quad double barrel shoddy explosive that I was using. I forget what the third roll is, but that's been pretty fun. Uh, suppressors. I wish it wasn't suppressors, but again, this, this conversation of can I reroll my legendaries in the future uh, is going to make my hoarding problem that much worse. I'm probably going to hang on to this. One day, maybe it'll be better. Maybe. Now I'm on to my Heavy Guns character. This character is 205 and have been collecting Bolstering, Sentinel, more my tanky character. I've been able to experiment with more heavy weapons. And uh, if I get some heavy weapons here, I won't be too upset. Hopefully not too many more pistols. I don't know why there's so many pistol rolls today. We're starting with a Vampire's Railway Rifle. Um, if it was faster fire rate, I would have been interested. Reduced weight has me interested, but no thank you. Please, no more gamma guns. Please. Or radium rifles. This is actually, I think, my third bow, uh, bow ever. I think... I never rolled a compound bow, I don't think. But I've rolled two other bows prior to this. So I'm actually, like, surprised to see this. It's not a great bow at all. Um, I'm going to completely auto-script it, but I'm happy to see that cycle in. Hunting rifles definitely want something like faster fire rate. Instigating, shh, nah. Quad less vats, laser pistol. That's what I initially look at. You can turn that into a rifle. You could have a quad rifle, less vats, and get your crit build going. Do even more damage of crit shots. Uh, could be good. I'm not sure if I would use this more as a pistol or a rifle. But I'm, I'm going to have to science this one out. Instigating railway rifle, limb damage. Could do a lot of damage. Honestly could. I'm going to have to test this one out too. I have a decent find there. Stalkers, 
Um, Stalker seems to work pretty well. Something like Fester Fiery, I don't know if that would drain too much vats, uh, depending on how you're using it. Again, I'm not familiar with plasma pistols. Executioner's Explosive Faster Reload Railway Rifle. Oh, man. What's up with Executioner's tonight? I'm going to say this is a great find. I'm going to have some fun using this. A lot of testing to do with these weapons. I'm not going to say anything about that one. Uh, Ghoul Slayers, Bash. Nah. Okay, so one final roll, fingers crossed. Ghoul Slayer's minigun. There's no faster fire rate, there's no explosive. Uh, there is 10% damage while aiming, which is kind of nice. I have other rolls I'd rather use on this one. Alright, only a couple more characters to go. So now I'm on my second to last character, my 191. Gunslinger, so some of the pistols that I normally get I'm interested in. Tonight, a lot of the pistols that I got, I did not really into, so let's see what uh, I can get with my remaining script. Fingers crossed. Faster f no, I, I'm not a huge fan of grenade launchers. Um, I understand the bloodied faster fire rate grenade launcher can be one of the best DPS weapons in the game if you have an absurd amount of ammo for it, but it's as much as I give them credit for. Not a good handmade. Vampire's explosive reduced weight. I love that. Um, double barrel shoddy. I'll give it a try. I'm going to say it's a decent find. It sounds like a great find, right? Like, you can almost put that onto something else and be happy with it, but... Double barrel shoddy. I wish it was like a combat shoddy. That would have made a huge difference. Huge difference. No, thank you. Moving on. Another limb damage assault rifle. I'm good. Crossbow. Nope. Two shot combat rifle. Ash, again, I don't care for. Uh, reduced weight. I'm sure somebody in the community might find this interesting. Probably lost that out. I'm, I'm not really sure. I have other combat rifles that are two shot and better combos, but I don't know why Bash just. I'm a magnet for Bash. Uh, nocturnal, and I, again, I didn't really want a bunch of nocturnal weapons, but that doesn't stop it. Um, explosive nocturnal lever action, and your crit meter fills faster. Would have loved for that to be reloads quicker, uh, but we can't all have what we want. Um, still a decent find. Try not to downplay nocturnal. If you can make it work within that small window, more power to you. Definitely more props than you're getting. I have better junkies crossbows than that. Uh, another handmade, kind of falling off the mark. Please stop giving me pistols. Uh, not a fixer, but not that great. And last but not least, least, And now I'm on to my last character, my mule of the group. And with this last thousand script, kind of looking back on my other roles, I've got a couple of to walk away with. I'm happy. Definitely started strong with the fixer. Um, I feel like I've been teased with handmaids. I keep seeing handmaids, but none particularly, particularly that I want. Maybe I can get a faster fire rate or explosive in these next 13 roles. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Machine gun. Oh, thank you. Vampire's faster fire rate, less bath action point cost, submachine gun. Literally any weapon with this combo, I'm going to throw straight to the great pile. Um, I love seeing vampires and faster fire rate combined, more so than explosive. Explosive sometimes causes a stagger, depending on what uh, armor you're using, dents, things like that perks you might be combining, you might actually be uh, hurting yourself, whether it's keeping you from doing damage or quite literally hurting yourself uh, with the explosive. So vampires and faster fire rate definitely keeping you alive. This is something that I might actually use at our next uh, encrypted event. And as I tank, maybe I can use this. Stay in vats, focus on 
Different targets. Alright, pretty good find. Only two rolls in. No thank you. Uh, again, pistols, no thank you. Quad broadsider. I'm, I'm getting punished for using one of these right before starting this video. It's not a bad find. The fact that it has the increased accuracy, it keeps you in VATS, and it has the increased rate, I would actually call this a great find. I just have multiple broadsiders with similar rolls. I have a hard time saying this is a great find, but it actually is. Uh, Nocturnal, please, please stop giving me that. Executioner's Tesla? I don't know. I try to use Teslas as a tagging weapon. So if I'm at, let's say, Radiation Rumble, I'm tagging the ground and hitting whatever I can. I don't really want to finish stuff. I want to make sure others can tag stuff. Uh, this would be the complete opposite. This would be the, the finishing Tesla rifle. You just go in and try to the finishing blow. Nope. nope. Lightning round. Quad Vats hit chance gamma gun? That's interesting. Be a decent find, but not for me. You knock it off. Nocturnal minigun with bash. I feel like all the things I'm not trying to get are just getting thrown into one combination. Last. Even if it's least, again, I'm walking away with the Executioner's explosive uh, fixer from earlier, so. Mutants, bash, re can I not ever get bash on any weapon ever again, please? Well, with five characters rolling script, I have that 5,000 going into 13 rolls each. I actually walked away with a good amount of stuff. I'm pretty happy. To thank the purveyor. And anybody else trying to check out more of these videos, I do have more available on the YouTube channel, so check that out and keep an eye out for more content.